What's up, guys? Jason here for the love of tractors, and we're talking cars. <laughs> um, why? I don't know. <laughs> so I traded for these, actually. Um, these are Black Bandit series uh, green light 164 scale uh, cars. So these fit perfect on a farm toy display. Now, <clears throat> maybe your model farm uh, also has some... Uh, Old cars, I mean, why not? Everybody, you know, well, not everybody, but I certainly like old cars. And I like old Mopar in particular. So, <laughs> so like I said, I traded for these. Um, I don't know what these would cost you if you bought them. Um, you know, the green light toys, I suspect they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, nice detail on these. I just thought we'd take a quick look at them. So, here is uh, a Challenger, and this is a Daytona Charger. So, you, you know, the Daytona Charger, if you might... Uh, you might know is kind of the sister car for the uh, Roadrunner Superbird. This was made for NASCAR. They had to make a certain number for the street so that it was eligible to run in NASCAR. These cars never sold well from the dealers. And as a result, in the late 70s, early 80s, you could find these for almost nothing. I've heard stories of guys picking up like Superbirds for a few thousand dollars. Now, or at least a few years ago, when uh, the classic car world was just at its peak, these these are like million dollar cars, or pretty dang close to it sometimes, if you had the Hemi. Anyway, <clears throat> so we're going to try this and see what you guys think about uh, throwing in a car review here and there. Now, I'm not going to have a lot of them, and I'll be honest, they're all going to be Mopar, because <laughs> I'm not going to collect anything else but that, and I'm actually not going to collect many at all i just sort of enjoy uh, you know trading occasionally for one of these so let's take a look at this challenger so um you're gonna notice this is the 70 challenger it's got the 70 grill on it uh everything else is sort of 70 um <clears throat> as well now so this is the black bandit series so of course it's black uh we have a blacked out matte hood which i think looks sweet and then we get the polished scoop, which I also think looks looks cool. It's a really nice compliment there. We still get the chrome windshield details, or, uh, you know, like uh, trim pieces and all of that, as well as the uh, door handles. We do get black rims. Now, I think what really would have set those off were uh, would have been some, um, like a chrome lip, which is kind of what they did here on the Charger. Um, I just think that looks cool. And also you get hood pins, so that's pretty neat, huh? Um, fuel cap is chrome as well. If we come around to the back, you'll see we've got a matte black spoiler back here, which looks pretty cool on this car. It kind of gives it a racy look. And uh, it, it seems like to me like this is not a stock ride height uh, challenger. Let's let's do this. Um <clears throat> Sure, sure looks like that's sitting low to me. What do you guys think? Uh, so I'm going to say this has some lowered ride height as well. Same thing with the Charger Daytona. Um, you know, these cars were not stanced. <laughs> if you're a young guy, you'll know what that means. Uh, from the factory. So I feel like that's, that's done here. So anyway, interior is all black. There is uh, a few chrome accent pieces like on the shifter and things like that. But uh, otherwise, it's, you know, it's just a, that's a nice, just a nice 164 scale car. Um, taking a look at the Daytona hood does open, by the way, to give us the big orange Hemi up under there. Looks good. All right, let's do the same thing here. So this does not have the orange Hemi. So it makes me wonder, is this, is, oops, is this a 440 car? Um... So I don't know. It, it didn't say on the box, so uh, and the box is destroyed and gone now. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So on the Charger Daytona, you got this nose. You got this nose cone up here uh, that extended it, and then of course you get the big honking awesome wing back there. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the real, uh, a real one. One way to tell uh, most of the time if it's real or a replica. Uh, there'll be chrome here on a real one, and most of the replicas don't have that. So there's a little pro tip for you guys there. <laughs> uh, we do get hood pins here. You can check out those awesome vents for the brakes or scoops or whatever. Um, you know, just 
uh, kind of the same treatment there. Chrome chrome fuel cap. Fuel cap is uh, on the pa uh, driver's side this time. Um, yeah, I suppose that's probably for NASCAR, huh? And then you get the cool matte stripe around the side. And then I don't know if you can see it or not. There's da It says Daytona in the gloss black in that stripe. That's a really sweet little touch. And then, of course, the black matte black wing. Moving around to the back side, we'll see... The elongated taillights, which tells us this is a 69, uh, as opposed to 68 chargers, which had round taillights. Also didn't have a charger or a Daytona option, I don't believe. <laughs> uh, dual exhausts and all that. And then, <clears throat> kind of as I hinted to earlier, nifty. Uh, these are like, these look like, uh, kind of like a, either like a Krager SS wheel or, you know, like an American racing torque thrust or something like that. It's hard to tell because it's really dark. But I believe it's like a Krager SS wheel is what it looks like to me. So, anyway. <clears throat> there it is, fellas. Uh, I hope you liked it. You know, if if this doesn't get any views and uh, you guys tell me in the comments you disliked uh, this little look at these cars, we'll never do any more again. <laughs> but I just wanted to give it a try. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, have yourselves a wonderful day. Happy tractor hunting or car hunting or truck hunting or whatever it is you're into. <laughs> I hope it goes well for you and have a happy new year.